Hi everyone, Gabe here at The Art of Listening. In 1676, German composer Heinrich Franz Ignaz Bieber completed his Passacaglia for solo violin that would not only revolutionize the violin repertoire, but become a standard for any professional violinist for years to come. Many fans of classical music know and enjoy Bach's Chaconne for solo violin, but did you know that Bach was likely inspired by Bieber's Passacaglia? It was the piece for solo violin for nearly 50 years before Bach came along. Bieber was best known as being the Weisskapellmeister for the Salzburg Court, which was the main center for music in those days. He was even the supervisor for Leopold Mozart, that would be Wolfgang's father. And Bieber wrote many works for the church, but the set of the Passacaglia is taken from is called the Rosary Sonatas. Sonatas at the time were not three or four movement works that Beethoven and Brahms were going to write. They were short pieces that lasted maybe three or four minutes. Bieber wrote these 15 sonatas to be performed while the congregants prayed with their rosary beads, hence the name the Rosary Sonatas. They went around the church with their beads meditating on the 14 stations of the cross. The 15th sonata is the Passacaglia, which is a full 10 minutes long. It was meant to sum everything up and also to celebrate the Feast of the Guardian Angel. The Passacaglia quickly became famous because it was truly revolutionary for its time. It was one of those works that expanded the expectations of what people thought the instrument was even capable of. Violinists around the world saw it as the ultimate challenge. You weren't great until you could perform this piece. Brach probably knew about this work and it's clear that there is a relationship between the Chaconne and the Passacaglia, but that is another topic for another post. So here are three things to listen for in this piece. Number one, a passacaglia is a ground bass line that is repeated over variations for the entire work. And this one is pretty simple and strict. The first four notes are the bass line and Bieber does not deviate for the majority of the work. For comparison, my previous video of Pachelbel's Canon has eight notes in the bass line. Listen for the four note bass line and see if you can catch the one section where it actually does change slightly. Number two, Bieber stretched the capabilities of violinists by making this piece a completely solo work. There are usually other instruments to fill out the variations above this bass line, but not here. Bieber did it by using specific techniques to make it sound like there are more than one or two instruments playing at the same time. Listen for the different lines he put in there to simulate more than one player. And finally, number three, toward the end of the piece, Bieber uses the technique called jeté, or throwing the bow, to simulate castanets in a Spanish dance, a truly exotic moment in this piece written in Germany. You can find my video performing the Bieber over here, and I hope you enjoy the performance. Have a great day. Thanks for visiting The Art of Listening. Click here to see what's next, and don't forget to subscribe and like. See you soon.